Mesa just got buffed in such an insane way. This is a bit of a different upload than what I normally do, as I just could not withhold this information from you guys in the amount of time it would take to do a full video, so here we are. What has changed? Well, in the most recent hotfix, they fixed the Topaz Shard critical chance stacking, sort of, and also made them stack with each other. The problem previously was that even with 5 Topaz Shards equipped, you'd only get a max of 50% critical chance, with additional shards just increasing how fast you could stack the buff. Now, with my Tau and non-Tau, I get a max of 125% critical chance, finally allowing us to do a pure red crit Mesa build. Previously, we had to jump through a lot of hoops to get here. A Darsa Kavat, Arcane Avenger, 5 Archon Shards, a maxed out secondary outburst, and critical chance mods to not even get pure reds actually. Counting the additional 125% flat critical chance, now with the modded 427% of 25, plus 25, plus 45, plus 125, we get a final value of 301% critical chance. But how are we actually doing this? Let's cover it, and just to preface, I will not be explaining her kit in this video, please refer to my previous video on her, linked in the cards for that, but use this build instead. Firstly, Prime Pistol Gambit on regulators is a no-brainer. Topaz shards require you to kill enemies under the effects of heat damage to stack their buff, so bringing an epitaph modded for viral and heat to do just that will suffice, with regulators being able to proc the buff on their own kills. Arcane Avenger functions the same as Topaz Shards, giving 45% flat CC on damage taken, easily triggerable to combat discipline. Finally, Secondary Outburst requires a little more effort, consuming all combo to provide an at max 240% CC buff and a critical damage buff as well, we need to find a way to consistently upkeep our combo without having to melee every 30 seconds, because it's a Mesa build. We don't do that here. Ceramic Dagger and Karnan with its initial combo evolutions combined with mods giving the same, solved this almost perfectly. A complete stack of Gun and Blade at 100, paired with the other requirements gives 9x initial combo permanently. The two remaining methods are either Tandem Bond or the Rauta, with the latter being the preferred. Rauta builds combo on pellet hit, with 2 or 3 shots maxing it out. Likewise, Tandem Bond can be used on your companion to have them build combo, but because it is dependent on their AI, it is not as consistent. So with the Rauta, just fire at enemies twice every 30 seconds and get back to your regularly scheduled Mesa playing. Do note that unequipping your regulators into your secondary will trigger the buff, so just make sure you're holding it when you cast the regulators is all. Let's talk builds. I've covered a multitude of Mesa setups on the channel, with Zada's Whisper and Nourish being the most recent ones. In effort to be a little bit different, we're going to talk about a pillage setup right now, though if you'd like to see those builds anyways, they have not changed and are linked in the description. Pillage gives Mesa the one thing she does not have, armor strip, alongside its amazing survivability. And I will say, no, Emerald Shard Mesa for regulator armor stripping is not good. Mesa has an absolutely abysmal status chance, and kills enemies already far before she even gets close to just 10 procs, so what makes you think you'll be hitting 14? It just doesn't happen. Regardless, Pillage's range actually is determined by duration, meaning we can dump range and efficiency to go all in on strength and duration. The high strength increases the damage bonus from Shooting Gallery, the armor strip off of Pillage, and Regulator's own damage scaling massively. You may be worrying a little bit about energy, but honestly, it's not too big of a deal here because of our companion. A Panzer Volpophila with Synth Deconstruct will spawn so many health orbs for Equilibrium, and furthermore, Seismic Bond's additional 30% efficiency will be activated by Spore's damage while you use your regulators, so the build actually has 75% efficiency with all things considered. Panzer also has enough base shields to make use of Reinforced with Calculated Redirection, giving another 60% fire rate, and the Tenacious Bond slash Bite Mod combo gives another 1.2x critical damage for our regulators. Speaking of regulators, the build for them looks like this, building all in for raw damage through corrosive and heat, with the generic critical mods, lethal torrent, diffusion, and a bane. Galvanized Shot is not a good mod for regulators. Consider not only their very low status chance, but also that strength on Mesa is applied twice within her regulators damage equation, and functions additively to base damage mods. There's a reason we don't use serration and heavy caliber together, because it gives ultimately diminishing returns. 
Ceramic Dagger only requires the initial combo mods, here is the Epitaph build again, make sure to include secondary outburst, and here is the Rata build. No arcane needed, use whatever. Alright, that does it for this video everyone, I just wanted to get this one out really fast for you guys because it's just fun. Mace has always been broken, and every update seems to do that even more so than the last, with her now having permanent red crits. Anyways, a massive thank you to all of my supporters on Patreon and YouTube for helping me continue to do what I do. You guys are awesome. Especially, Aware, The Mad Monk, Scotty Nose, Sage, Intellectual, 3000, Erdis, Boogie, Cozy, Aqua, Alexeli, you have my never-ending appreciation. I hope this video was informative and helpful, and I will see all of you guys very soon. Peace!